Hello and welcome to Ginger Prime. My name is Brian, and if you're a returning subscriber, welcome back, Soul Nation. PewDiePie is going to be calling you in about five minutes, so you're welcome. So anyhow, that's just for subscriber only. Unrealistic promises that cannot be obviously kept. But today, hopefully you enjoyed that. But today we're going to be diving into an easy Primo Gym farm guide, as well as talking about ARPGs, a couple things that you want to be doing as well. If you guys have any tips, be sure to leave them in the comments below so other uh, players can help find them and make their lives a little bit easier. So we're going to start obviously with Primo Gems as a premium currency, how to farm this up on the daily. There's a lot of things that you can do that you should be doing. We're going to cover that and then we'll kind of tap into a couple other things that I think are really important for you guys to know. Obviously, let's start with the basics. When you first log into the game, you want to make sure that you always be claiming your free daily uh, you know, Primo Gems. You can do that easily from your mail. So just be sure, if nothing else, if you don't have time to play, just pop in, get your free daily updates. Also, be sure to check your events page. If you look at Seize the Day, you can be able to get uh, an additional 300 Primo Gems for just logging in a week. There is a reset timer. We should see new uh, login uh, kind of campaigns going forward. So just kind of pay attention to make sure if you're doing your daily login, you're gonna get the Primo Gems already. So immediately we're looking at quite a substantial amount of Primo Gems just for logging in each and every day. You're, the total amount of time uh, that you've already invested is pretty low. From here, I wanna point you guys over into your Adventure Handbook. This is really important, and if you don't know about the Adventure Handbook, you unlock this at Adventure Rank 7. We're gonna dive into this in a little bit more detail here in just a second, but I wanna focus you first on commissions. When you unlock commissions, this is going to be a huge help and time saver. These reset 24 every 24 hours, so once a day, and this is gonna help define your daily goals. If you kind of just kind of tap in here, you'll see that you can press the B button on controller to pull up their location on the map itself. So you'll see where everyone is located. If you press B, it's gonna start actually like navigating you there. So if I actually close out of the book, I can actually see where it wants me to go. And being that it's 500 uh, meters away, it's just easier for me to go ahead and teleport to that location. You'll also see your daily commissions here all in purple, so you can get a good idea of where you need to go. So let's focus in on those first. So your commissions are gonna range in just a little bit of a different time commitment for each. Some really quickly, some are gonna take a little bit more effort. You can just dive in and complete these. I've got these playing right now for you. It's super fast speed, just to highlight that there's four of these. Now, if while doing your commissions or just playing all around, if you find yourself not wanting to use food to heal yourself up, you can always teleport easily to a statue of the seven to easily worship them. It's also important that as you go around, be sure to be connecting or co collecting your Anima Colossus. Uh, that way you can go ahead and grab more Stanima, but also beyond that, you can get up more Adventure XP and more Primo Gems. So your, uh, your statues of the seven are gonna make a great addition to your overall lineup. Now, once you've completed all four of your commissions, you wanna head back to your Adventure Skill. There's a few things I wanna point out here to you real quick. First, once you've completed them, here you can claim your daily commissions reward, which is gonna give you your total boost there. In this case, I get an additional 20 Primo Gems and more uh, upgrade materials. This is really key to your overall progress with the game. Furthermore, go ahead and check back in because if you have adventure rank rewards, you might not be uh, claiming these at all. So be sure to go and get these for every time that you adventure rank up. The reason you want to be doing this on the daily outside your Primo Gym farm is because it's going to reward you with a bunch of ARP, you know, EXP, which is going to allow you to increase your adventure rank. Furthermore, as you progress through the game, you're also going to unlock the ability to dispatch your characters on different expeditions. And you could set the time that you want them to be able to kind of spend uh, working. And let me for random, <laughs> randomly slash my sword at her, I apologize. So be sure to check in with uh, setting your characters on to the different uh, categories. You can set for how long you want them to go out on an adventure. So if I wanted to put a uh, character at four hours, I can go ahead and set that. But right now I can only have two characters at the max. So they'll go out and they'll farm different items for you and they'll give you an idea of what you can be farming back. This is something that if you're not especially leveling those characters, this ends up being a big help overall to you. So be sure to be paying attention to what's everything going down at the Adventurers Guild. 
So there's a few more things I really want to focus in on, especially on a chess farm. I'm going to go and pull up my map real quick. You can see that I've marked the map with these different little like lucky charm icons. Uh, if you press B on any part of the map, you can actually set any kind of marker. So what I've actually done in this case is I, I, I know I want to teleport in here because from here to here and then down up and back and this way is a great chest farm. This is going to give you lots of primo gems overall. Each, each individual chest is going to be a little bit smaller in terms of its rewards, but if you're thinking about just generally farming a uh, your AAXP and your chest farm, there's one farm for you there. And the other one starts down here at the bottom uh, right hand side where you can see my cursor and you can see that I'm going to go up here there and back and that's a really good chest farm what you want to try and find is obviously as you're farming chest is you want to look for your ley lines this is really where it comes into like of an important aspect so if i pull up my adventures book and i can go to my bosses you can see you've got resin this is your stanima and i know i'm probably butchering the name i apologize welcome to the channel I'm not doing it on purpose i just struggle with that word um you can see that right now I'm at 89 of 120. Do not let yourself have 120. Don't be sitting on this currency. It recharges and the more you can use it, the better, especially as a part of your dailies. So you can see here, it's gonna tell you like, hey, you got a couple of ley lines that's gonna reward you with different upgrade materials and a, uh, a XP. Uh, what that's going to do is that you can actually knock out with 120, easily six of these for 600 a, uh, a XP, even if you decide not to do a recharge. The goal of this guide is to sit here and say like, hey, if you've got 15, 20 minutes, here's what you could knock out on the daily and you're gonna make a lot of progress. Also, you want to be focusing in on this guy. If you go ahead and press B on this little boss figure, it's going to tell you where he spawns. And you can actually see right here, what I would actually do is that I have a ley lines and I have him. So I could pick any of these locations to go and pop into. And then that way I can go farm him up. Uh, he's going to give me adventure, like just different rewards. So you want to pay attention to that uh, adventures book and that boss guide. And I, I can see that he's listed here. So what I would do in this case is that I would hit that ley lines up and then I would go find find him for more rewards. With the ley lines complete, you'll see a nice little flower bloom. It's going to confirm that you want to use 20 of your resin to be able to open it up and you're going to get a couple of items, but more importantly, you're going to get that adventure experience. And again, doing that is going to open up obviously more uh, primo gems, more content to the game itself. And now I run up here to the boss. You just need to focus him down. He's going to summon some stuff, but otherwise, if you just knock him out, uh, it's yeah, his ads and all that are going to go away. So defeating him, it's going to reward you with some character and weapon upgrade materials. And that's what you want to do every single day. So be sure to keep an eye out for him. Be sure to keep paying attention to your book itself. I don't know why it's not letting me open it. There we go. <laughs> There we go, opening my book. And this will give you a good idea of what you can be farming and what you should be looking for as well. So overall, from your progress perspective, just kind of as a couple of final little tips, be sure to keep paying attention to your experience. This is gonna help you unlock bigger uh, bigger chapters, bigger pages. So keep a lookout as to what you need to do to be able to get these complete. The two things that I need to knock out is the Shrine of the Depths and enhancing a couple more artifacts to level four. That's gonna give me some more experience. That's gonna help me progress more in my story uh, and opening up more of the game world itself. The last tip I wanted to point out to you guys is heading over to the kitchen, especially in a lot of these refinement items here. You can see here, I've been refining different items. And what you wanna do is you just wanna go ahead and set this to cook as much as possible. You kinda of set it and forget it. This is gonna feed you. This is gonna help you <laughs> do a lot more in the game itself. And you can see sometimes it's got a little bit more of a timer that's attached to it. So you can kinda of say as you're going out to do those kind of quests, you can come in here, you can start uh, crafting up uh, as many things as possible. This is gonna help feed you, help keep you alive while you're fighting, but it also taps into other things within your adventure handbook. Uh, that way you can sit here and craft these up and you can start to, once you've done enough perfect ones, you can easily auto craft any number of these. And this is the stuff that you're farming naturally while you're playing out in the world itself. So be sure to keep this going. And that is gonna be where I leave you guys here today. 
Hopefully this has been a big help. Obviously I'm not showing you guys running around to the different chests, but as you're playing the game itself, be sure to knock out your dailies. That's gonna give you the biggest boost of rewards. Be sure to knock out your ley lines. And so all of this I did and I showed you guys with from a recording perspective, took about 20 minutes with a couple of flubs, a couple of edits. So you get condense that down and you're looking at kind of a 15 minute window. Now we'll dive more into different guides, going over the different systems more uh, as we progress through the game. And so if you're new here and you do hit the subscribe button, let me know in the comments below so I can welcome you officially to the Soul Nation. But for Ginger Prime, my name is Brian. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you have a fantastic day and I hope to see you in my next video. But until then, take care. This video is sponsored by me, Ginger Prime. Hopefully you'll check out my podcast channel, Ginger Gaming Radio, which we have lots of guests, lots of great conversations, and even more highlights. Links are in the description below. Let me know what you think. Thanks.